Howdy y'all, this is Dylan, and today I'm going to show you how to make a uh, syllabary font for a conlang. Um, so first of all, uh, I've recently used this because I needed to make a syllabary for my language Anx that I've been working on recently. Uh, you can see I have this nice little font here that I can use. Uh, then you can see an example text, something that's using it, and then something that's a little longer. See a big thing of text. Um, so we want to make this, right? So basically the idea is that, let's say our language has the sound pa, and that's a symbol. Basically, whenever we type pa, it's going to input a ligature that turns it into some, like, its own symbol, right? And so uh, a lot of times this happens with the letters f and i in, in fonts, but we're going to take this to the max and really just use it all over the place, right, to make all of our, our uh, stuff. So. We're going to go ahead and open up Font Forge is the program I'll be using. We're going to click New. Um, yeah, so the first thing we got to do is we got to give ourselves some base symbols um, to utilize. Otherwise, it'll complain. So we're going to go into A, and we're just going to mock up a letter A. Cool. Yep. Looks good. Go to B. You get the idea, so I'll just go ahead and speed this up. Alright, so uh, I just realized that I do not actually have to do all of these. We're going to do a very simple language that has just a three vowel system um, and just the consonants pa and ba. So we only have to implement those letters. So uh, here's ba, here's b. So basically, when you type B A B I B uh, B U, I E U, three vowel system, um, this is what it'll type. Oh, that's an ugly I. Uh, sure, doesn't matter. This is just uh, because it needs to exist. Um, I'm gonna go here, um, and then we need I E. We need a P. Okay, so now we're gonna be able to actually add our symbols that we wanna add. Uh, so the first thing we're gonna do is we gotta create a place for the symbol. So we're gonna go up to encoding, and then we're gonna scroll down to uh, add encoding slots. Now we have three vowels and um, two consonants, so we're gonna have three times two, six total slots, right? So then we gotta name all of these. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna open up glyph info. Um, we're going to call this P underscore A for P and A. Uh, we're going to go the next one over. This is going to be P underscore I. Next one over, P underscore U. Next one under, now we'll do the B's, B underscore A. Um, ba underscore E. Ba underscore U. And we're done. Okay, so all of these are named. You can look up here and see that they're all properly named. So between them. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make uh, ligatures that correspond to the letters that we've just created. Um, da, 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 da. So we're going to go to element font info. We can go ahead and name it. I'm just going to call it um, temp font. I probably won't even save this in this video. Um, but anyway, uh, the other thing you'll want to do first is you'll want to make sure this EM size is set to a power of two. Um, otherwise, it'll just complain. That's, that's really the only reason. And then we're going to move on down here to lookups. We're going to click add lookup. We're going to click type and select ligature substitution. We're going to click this little drop down arrow so we get a drop down box. And we're going to click Liga standard ligatures. I like to rename it to Liga. You don't have to. And you're going to uncheck this box. Click OK. And we're going to click add subtable. Yep. And then we got to go through and add all our things. So P underscore A corresponds to P and an A. So you're going to put a space here. And then P underscore I corresponds to a P and an I. And you can do complex things. Like you could do, if we could make it where if you type pizza, it turns into a literal pizza. So you can go all, all out. Uh, but for our sake of example, we're going to keep it simple. OK. You see there's no errors that popped up. Same as we're good. All right. Now we're going to select all these. We're going to. Uh, we're going to go up here to encoding, and we're going to click, um, sorry, we're going to go over here to element, and we're going to click um, build, 
build composite glyph and then we're going to right click and unlink reference so now these are all separate characters we have you notice that it just copied the symbols over for these um, which obviously isn't what we want so well, the first thing we're going to do to make a symbol is we're going to delete the old one right so then we're going to take the line over here and we're going to make it regular 1000 we just entered 1024 right so now we're going to make it 1024 all right so let's make the symbol for pa uh it, it really doesn't matter um so we'll just make it a line because i'm boring we'll put we'll put a little dot over here too right so this is what it's going to look like you can press the tilde key to uh, show temporarily so that's pa all right now uh, what I like to do is actually copy the symbol and go over to the letter and uh, paste it because it will automatically shrink it down and then we can just edit it. So we'll just add another line over here. Why not, you know? Yeah, we can paste. Uh, for this one, let's move the dot over here. Um, and then for Ba, it will be like the same as Pa, but um, we'll just rotate it, I guess. So yeah, this isn't a font forge tutorial. Uh, if you're not familiar font forge, you know, you know, you, you, you'll have to get familiar. <laughs> but I just want to show you how you can make the ligatures today. So yeah, that's fine. Let me just move it over. Of course, last one. I know we want this one. Rotate it. All right, and we're done. We have a whole set of new glyphs. So we have pa, pee, poo, ba, be, boo. Uh, there we go. So now what we're gonna do? Now that, I'm not gonna save it. <laughs> now what we're gonna do is we're going to test it. So it should be working now. We're gonna open up. We're gonna click metrics, new metrics window, and just pop this up. What we want to type now is our letters to test that it works. So if we type P, we see a P. If we type A, we see an A. We see A, E, U, we see P, B, right? So now if we type P, A, it combines into one symbol. See? You can go backwards. There's P, there's Poo. Ba, B, Poo. So this is, you know, it's working. And at this point, you should be able to go in and generate fonts, just like you would with any other font. So, yeah, that's how to make a, uh, that's how to make a syllabary.